I'm Wild Bill Tomlinson. You might not know me now, but you're going to. Better have done the work, mate, because you're in for one hell of a fight. Look out, world, because here comes Will Tomlinson. Wild Will Tomlinson on the edge of a dream, and that dream, the IBO Super Featherweight Championship of the World, it is vacant at the moment. Uh, he's giving away experience, maybe some craft, but he's got a ton of talent, this kid. Will Tomlinson, I've been watching him for a long time. You know, from Bansdale, Victorian boy, classic, a lot of amateur fights, about 90 amateur fights, undefeated as a pro, one uh, technical draw. He puts his punches together well, fights well on the inside. Uh, Lincoln Hudson and Fidel Turkle have done a great job with him. Have a look at him here. He looks in superb condition. Air fighting out of the Black Turn hit squad, the BHS, for some time. This super featherweight, our first real look at Alan Herrera. Um, not a great deal known. Uh, he has the height, he has the reach, and he's certainly got the stare down, Pat, at the moment. He's, he has, but uh, look, you know, great, opp great opportunity for Will Tomlinson to break in on the world stage. You know, had a big victory on the undercard of Danny Green, Roy Jones, when he knocked yep. out Vernon Kinbro yep. uh, in three or three rounds. Uh, great victory for, for young Wild Will, and I, you know, I think this is another big step forward to him. Australian boxing fans, watch this boy because he is dynamite. He's certainly one of the leaders of the next generation as we go back into the dressing room. There is Tomlinson. There's his trainer, Little Lincoln Hudson. <laughs> along with Fidel Turkle and the entire crew from the VHS, uh, a stable that is uh, that is legitimate uh, in in all weight divisions of one of their superstars, uh, the now and still undefeated Australian cruiserweight champion Brad Pitt. Certainly. There's a real quality amongst this group of men. Some very good fighters, as you said, uh, Brad Pitt undefeated. Uh, and, and young Wild Will, two, two up-and-coming superstars. I uh, spent some time this morning with a few of the boys from the BHS and uh, sat down and had a coffee uh, with Will Tomlinson as well, although Will didn't have a coffee, but G was edgy this morning. As we take a look at the stats, for Herrera, this is fight number 30, just the three losses. Tomlinson, the big zero, no losses, undefeated and ready to take it to the next level. 12 three-minute rounds is the journey as we take a look at the height, just the one centimetre, but the reach is six centimetre, disadvantage to the Australian, both weighed in at 58.8 kilos. World Championship, one of three on tonight's card. Let's go to Glenn. And don't forget, fight fans, we've also got another bout after the main event in our fifth bout this evening. But next, it's our fourth bout of the night. Tonight's first World title bout for the vacant IBO super featherweight title. 12 three minute rounds. Please welcome from the red corner, Alan Herrera.
Ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner this evening, wearing the black trunks, weighed in at 58.8 kilos. From Mexico, trained by Ruben Tellis, 29 fights, 26 wins, 17 by KO, Explosivo Alan Herrera! And in the blue corner, wearing the blue shorts this evening, he weighed in at 58.8 kilos from Penrith, New South Wales, trained by Lincoln Hudson, current title holder, IBO Intercontinental, WBO Asia Pacific, and WBO Oriental Super Featherweight. Ladies and gentlemen, Wild Will Tomlinson! <laughs> Finals to the centre for final instructions, please. Lincoln, it's fine, it's fine. Lincoln, no worry, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It'll be delivered. Let's go. Steve Smoker, the referee here. Got your instrument. The piano's not very loud. Know the rules. Touch gloves. God bless you. Touch, touch. God bless. Thank you, Josh. And there's no rush here because we don't have a mouth guard for Wild Will Tomlinson. I, uh, I trust you'll deliver. I don't believe this. I don't He's believe this. He's got a mouth guard. The guy. One kid How can you lose your mouth guard before a world title fight? Corner in a little confusion, but Will looks good. He looks focused. He's staying relaxed, which is what he needs to do at this point in time. Awfully frustrating. Who does it play on? It may well play on Alan Herrera. Oh, I think it'll be a shock for. I think they've got it. Thank God they've got it. It'll be a shock for Will. But anyway, we're in business. Thank Christ. Thank Fidel thank Turkle, deliverer of mouth guards. Thank heavens. I wouldn't want to be over He's there if Fidel got angry about who, who, who forgot the who mouth guard. That was. Ring the bell, ring the bell. This is going to be exciting. Here we go. The vacant IBO Super Featherweight Championship of the World is on the line. It is 12 three minute rounds. Alan Herrera from Mexico in the black trunks. Wild Will Tomlinson. From Barnsdale in Victoria, now residing out of Blacktown, New South Wales, in the blue with the Aussie flag proudly. <laughs> Will Tomlinson, a huge, huge favourite in the in the betting here, but I think they might have underestimated this guy. He's uh, not really well known for all of his fights in, in no. Mexico, but as I can see already, the guy knows what he's doing. He's uh, and his record says step he's back, a good fighter. Step back, step back. Step back. Go you don't have 29 fights, 26 wins, 17 knockouts if you don't know what you're doing. This was the very division that my co-commentator Barry Michael held the IBF version going back a year or two, back to 1985. 85 to 87 and, you know, Will, I really have followed Will's career from the amateurs and uh, love the way he fights. Decorated amateur to 90 odd fights, state national Oceania champion. Doesn't need to be doing this with Alan Herrera. Doesn't need to be getting on the inside, butting and shouldering. Yeah, but he's a compact bull of a fighter, Will Tomlinson. Got a good, 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 he fights well inside, boxes well. Herrera showing me already, halfway through round one, he's accomplished. He knows what he's doing in there. This is going to be tough. I think this is going to be a tough fight for Will Tomlinson. Oh, good left hook from Will Tomlinson. A beauty. Halfway through this opening period. 12 three-minute rounds, the journey. Should we require the ringside judges, Steve Marshall, Gary Ingraham, and both from Australia, and Mike Fitzgerald from the United States, our referee, also from the US, Steve Smoger. Oh, body shot from Herrera. A good, good one. Yes, dangerous body shot. Vicious right rip to the body. Lean back, counted beautifully, Herrera. Oh. And again, changing levels, the Mexican. This, uh, this is going to be tough, I think. A lot of people expected Herrera not to be of, of this this quality, but uh, when you look at his record, he's, even though he hasn't fought out of Mexico, you've got to say, uh, you know, with those victories, he, they're tough guys out of that, that area of the world. I mean, they've got to be, because boxing is their only way out. Exactly. And, and this is a dream that he has dreamt every night 
going back to March 07 when he debuted against... You know what? He's got the typical Mexican vicious left rip. His left yeah. rip is dangerous. Herrera. Oh, straight right hand from Herrera going to the body again. Oh. Mixed round here. We're going to fight on our hands. Oh, we've got a fight. Back to the corners we go. Okay, brother, we'll be able to get a little bit fine, okay? I want you to relax a little bit more, okay? Start on the outside. You know what I mean by that? Start over here and come in. Don't start in here because he's moving on you. He's going to run into the Dos Cabrabo thing, okay? So start on the outside. That left hand of yours is going to be high. It's a bit low because he's out. He's looking for that right hand over the top. You've had opportunities, but because you're too close hands, you can't get them. What you need to do is relax and let your hands go nice and good. Pop that jab. Pop that jab in and out. But that's going to be high. Okay? Cool? Your right hand will come over the top of your jab if you want it to, but be happy and patient. Don't look at this round. Okay? Good, fast. Okay, Barry, round number one. Good rip and hook there from Wild Will. Goes Barry underneath. Jack, round number two. Countering right hand from Herrera. Both fighters looking dangerous in the opening round. Round number two for the vacant IBO Super Featherweight title. Australia versus Mexico. The Aussie, Will Tomlinson, undefeated in 18 pro fights. I, I, you know, I would say Will edge the first round, but uh, you can see this guy means business. He's come to win this title. Debuted within a couple of months of each other in 2007, so the rise has been a quickie for both guys onto this level. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Tomlinson Rock with a left uppercut, a lead he's left a, uppercut. He's a dangerous puncher, this guy. I love the upper body structure or symmetry, if you like, of Will Tomlinson. It is a very compact and technically sound. Yeah, he's a very compact, neat fighter, Will. He slips and, and counters well with both hands. Um, I have seen him cut on a number of occasions. He needs to watch his watch the head here with his tough Mexican opponent, Alan Herrera. Going out that left hand. He's trying to go straight for the sternum. Good jab there from Will. Yeah, changing levels nicely, having a swipe. Again, what he's doing is keeping Herrera at length here. Yeah, he needs to work the jab. Herrera's strong. Got the reach advantage, good body punching there from Herrera. Up and down, good counter from Wild Will. Two boys having a word and having a smile. Yeah, both boys confident. We've got a real fight on our hands here. Tomlinson tagged on the way in, a big right hand big right. from the Australian. He never batted an eyelid though, this bloke. These Mexicans, you, you get a, you know, they're tough guys. Coming forward inside the final minute of round number two. Will, for my money, just that little bit technically need of winning this round again, won the first. But this is going to be a tough fight all the way down the line, I reckon. Notable victories over Carlos Guzman and Daniel Ruiz for Alan Herrera back in Mexico. Two very tough young guys that we've seen a little bit of over the years, yeah, Barry. Yeah, well, he's... Uh, Guzman had a record of 10, 1 and 1, and uh, Daniel Ruiz was 13 and 0. But, uh, but as we said, you know, there's so many fighters in Mexico, they fight for their dinner, and they're tough. Final couple of seconds of round number two. No lack of energy, no lack of confidence, and no lack of punches. That applies to both guys who were in the fight of their life yeah. for the prize they have ripped off. 